And Tom Birchett's here, member of the House Foreign Affairs Transportation Infrastructure Committee. He's one of Congress's most vocal advocates for declassifying all government data about UFOs. So if, if there are aliens out there, if there are these UFOs out there, how have none of these sensors, commercial or government, and even NASA, which is civilian, picked them up? I suspect they have. Um... Yeah, I think it's the biggest cover-up we've ever seen. You know, they, they had the, um, our, our committee, the Intelligence Committee, re reviewed it, basically, and, and I was asked afterwards what I thought about it. I said, we got hosed. Basically, the American public did. And there's information out there. There's Navy pilots that were actually in the audience who would have talked about their encounters in the air with um, unidentified flying objects, and it's, it, it's continued on. There's some of the, the footage you see right there. Uh, I've actually talked to the Navy pilot, one of them that was in the air, I believe, when, when this uh, was being foot, was being filmed, and and it's it's a power, it's a control thing. Washington D.C. I mean, we're not, we won't turn loose anything about the the Kennedy assassination. For goodness sakes, we did, we, and, we did that segment last night. There's now a lawsuit. Sixty years later, they they still haven't released all the files. But you think about the the polls on this: sixty five percent believe in alien life. 87% UFOs are not a security risk. If you believe that there's something flying around in the sky that's able to evade all of our commercial satellite imaging, all of our commercial uh, and civilian uh, telescopes, radar, everything else that looks out into the heavens, there's universities that have this stuff, there's obviously NASA, on and on and on and on. How do you believe it's not a security risk? And that's a great question. We had in this in this hearing, it wasn't a classified briefing. I believe they talked about 14 different close close encounters with our with our our military aircraft. And if there's something in our military air zone that we do not control, that government, we better be concerned. And you know, and of course, is it, 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 the question is, is it the Russians? Well, if it's the Russians, you know, Putin's ego. He would land one of the UFOs on the White House lawn and get out bare chested, ride a unicorn up. And punch the president in the mouth and get back on it and fly back. It's the Chinese, same thing. If we had it, we would control the airways. It's, it's either one of two things. It's either we have captured something and we're reverse engineering, which some of the, the pilots that I've talked to, Navy pilots, think that it is skunk works, and or it is something from outer space. Well, when, that, you, when, you that, say, when you say skunk works, that's, that's U a U.S. government project that's so dark. The, the Navy pilots and, and civilian pilots wouldn't know about it, uh, like the SR-71 or the B-2 bomber or something right. like this. And, and th these would be explained by the military, uh, the very secret part of the military, testing uh, their newest stuff against their own, their, you know, our own guys without knowing or telling them that was happening, right? Correct. But that, I don't think that's a, that's a possibility due to the fact that it is defying all laws of physics, literally, if... If, if that was in a, uh, one of our pilots in one of those aircrafts, I mean, they would be basically a catch-up package. They could not stand the G's that these things are doing. You've got to see they, these aren't putting off any, any heat sensors or anything, and, they're, and there's no friction. One of these... So, so do, is, do, I, I got, only got 30 seconds. I know you do as well. But you sure. think about, like, the NASA telescopes that look at this stuff. You think about all the civilian telescopes at universities and the like that look out. Are we to imagine that all of these things have picked up these UFOs and it's a cover up by everybody? Well, you're looking at a you're, you're looking at a stationary object with those telescopes. They're not equipped to do just that. But the others are and we we're seeing it on our on our our night vision or heat sensory um, cameras and things on our aircraft. So they're out there. We're just in denial and it is a complete cover up by the federal mm -hmm. government. It's probably though what I think is is it's it's so far past our government that there's there's several major corporations that have control of some some sort of apparatus, and they're the ones doing the reverse engineering, if it is possible that they are doing. But there That's is, crazy. Hey, it con is Congressman, uh, we appreciate you always coming on and talking about this. Your your enthusiasm for this and your knowledge about it really uh, is important to hear. Well, good good to see you, sir. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider, and don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.